Okay, it's been a while. You've probably been wondering what we're up to. Well, we're up to working on lots of stuff, but the main thing is the Gullwing. The 57 Mercedes. So I fitted the doors on it in the last couple days here. Um, it's going to be going for upholstery. And as you all know, these cars are basically all upholstered inside. So um, I'll show you what I mean here. Open this up. The whole door is upholstery up in there. All this is covered in fabric, or leather I should say. It's going to be matching the dash that's already done. Derek at Custom Creations did that. Beautiful job. Local guy here in Chilliwack. Does multiple show winning award winning cars. Look it up. Custom Creations. He's going to be doing the interior in this car. So he wanted me to fit the door because he has to see how much room he's got because he has to upholster all this and he has to make sure he's got room for this and the door to close. Which I think he's going to be just fine. As long as there's no padding, he's going to be good to go. Or maybe he'll put a thin padding on there, I'm not sure. So, um, still got to pull the wheels off, polish them and paint the centers to match the outside. Uh, chunk lid I've left off because he's going to do something in there, I would imagine. Tail lights I've put on, I've got the rear bumper on, all Mercedes. It's all Mercedes stuff, as I said before. Um, Yes, of course, it's it, now the Corvette covers are coming off. They're just whatever. They were on it when the gentleman bought it. They're coming off, but it has got a obviously a modern engine. This is not I want to I want to get something clear to some people that watch this video and say, "Oh, kit car, kit car." There's an argument here. It's not a kit car. You can't go buy this car. You can buy the body maybe, but the chassis underneath has all been custom made. The chassis custom made. Everything on this car was custom made for this car. So you can't go and say, oh, I saw so-and-so's car there, the Mercedes at a car show, I want to go buy that kit with that frame and that setup for that engine and that kind of differential. You can't do that. This was all made. So yes, it's not a real Mercedes, but, every, but it's a one-off on its own. And sure, maybe some people out there are like, ah, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's a kit car. Would you really drive a, well, I shouldn't say that because I would, but would you really drive Mercedes? These cars are worth probably, you know, a million plus. How many people are going to, in today's world and traffic, going to drive a million plus car on the street, chance getting hit with it? You know, the fucking ICBC ain't going to pay you out for it. At least with this car, you know, he can go out and have some fun. And the original ones never had air conditioning or, you know, proper heating and all that. This has got all that stuff. And you have to remember, these cars, the windows never rolled down. So the original ones, they get mighty hot inside. This one you're going to be able to cruise in. You're going to have fun and you're going to enjoy it. you got the power to go where you want to go and that's exactly what this gentleman's going to do with it. He's going to drive the snot out of it and have fun with it. And as much as whether you like it or don't like it, you have to admit, it's one of a kind. We each have our own taste in what we want to do and if everybody built the same thing, it'd be pretty damn boring. So those of you out there that are going to knock it and say shit about it, well, you know what? Let's see what you got. Post your video. Do your pictures. It's probably just your typical Ford or Chevy Dodge item anyway, right? We all have them, so don't knock each other. Be happy that we're all in the same sport and enjoying cars. That's what real car guys are about, that someone is enjoying cars, okay? Anyway, now that I said my piece there, we still want to clean up and detail the engine there. So like I say, we're going to get covers made that say, I think, uh, uh, 300 SL or Mercedes or something. There's all sorts of stuff still to do. I uh, got the, the trim rings on the headlights, got the signals in. Um, still got to paint oversight on our part. We forgot to paint the little fins that go in there. So we've got to paint those. We'll do that while it's at the upholstery shop. So I do believe it's going to be taken off for upholstery here pretty quick. Um, I'm hoping quick because uh, I kind of want it to go <laughs> just because it, I, I don't want to see anything happen to it here. Uh, but if it doesn't, I'll continue on. Like I say, I, I've put a few pieces and parts on it while I've had the chance while it's been here. But I would assume it's going to be gone by either tomorrow or Friday or it's going to go by, uh, well, not Monday because I don't work Mondays, but Tuesday. And then it'll be at least there for at least a month or so. And um, we'll keep checking up on it. We'll do some updated videos. I'm sure Derek won't mind to have a video done at his shop. And um, then it'll come back here at the end. Like I say, we'll clean up the detail of the engine, put the rest of it all together. Um, a long time ago when it first came in, we made, like all this is custom made. It's all still covered in the, the plastic sheeting and we'll give it a polish after. These are all panels that go up underneath the car. 
So they go basically, basically they're going to go from the outside of the car, from this, from I'm going to say roughly from this point here, right up to this point, everything is all polished aluminum that will go underneath there. So when you look underneath it, that's all you'll see. Yeah, that'll help keep some noise down, definitely. But uh, it is definitely a one-off car. Very happy that, uh, very happy to do this one. Definitely unique. I personally am, 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 you know, I'm just the guy that's in old hot rods. You all know that about me. But this car to me, the lines on it, it's sexy as hell. I would drive this car all day long too. It's just sexy. And you got your six-speed in there, you know, six-speed transmission. Like I say, you got your AC. You got everything you need. You know, it's just, it's going to be fun. Bit of a, bit of a nuisance to get in and out of. Ah, but whatever. It's no different than getting in and out of my Model A. That's a nuisance too. So there you go. That is what is happening with the build on the, uh, the Mercedes. Go by here one more time so you all get a look. The color's probably not showing good in here. I posted some pictures on my Facebook on Old Time Garage if you look. It's, it's funny because in the camera it looks green, but if you look at Facebook, the posters, the pictures I posted, you'll see one where I've got it sitting out in the sun outside the garage doors, and you see it's actually turquoise. It's, you know, it, this color flip-flops. Changes all over. It goes from a mint green to a turquoise to, you, you actually, you, you, you got to be here to see it. All the grill, bumpers, all factory Mercedes, the swing out door handles, Mercedes, all original Mercedes items. Glass, all Mercedes. He's got original luggage that Mercedes would sell you back in the day. He's got the original luggage that goes in the back. Not repop, not nothing, original luggage, that's Mercedes. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. Pretty cool. And that stuff there alone, that ain't cheap. God, go price out the door handles that go right in there. They kind of, you push them, you push the end, and they come out. That's how you open it. God, I think they're worth big, 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 big money. Almost, a, almost, almost as much as I could go buy a car for. A parts car, anyway. Yeah. So, there we go. We work on all sorts of stuff here. For anyone that's out there new, here's a little C10 we got in. Well, GMC actually, but whatever. Uh, gentlemen, uh, we did the frame and suspension on it many years ago as he was building it. And then he had somebody else do paint and body, which is fine. And then he brought it to us to do the exhaust, finish up some wiring. Um, it's got a couple issues with the transmission and get it running. It's never ran before. So we're doing all sorts of stuff like that. But look at this, what a, again, what a beautiful job. I say we had done the frame. We had done all that. All the frame suspension put in, we had done all that. And then he took the frame away, and then he just kept working on it slowly. And uh, I believe at the time when he asked me about body and paint, I was kind of tied up, and I said, I'm kind of busy right now. I think he had to wait a couple months, and I think he just moved forward with somebody else, which is all fine. He ended up coming back anyway for this kind of work. So very pleased with that. Keep the customers happy. There's enough work for all of us to go around. You know, we don't all have to be the shop. As far as I'm concerned, there is no thing as the shop. I honestly don't think there is. I don't, I, I don't believe in that. I think we're all as good as we are and that's that. So, you know, we all have different skills, different trades. We do our best. As long as you give it 110% every day, that's what matters. And I don't think anyone is... Well, I mean, people, you know, there's, you know, I mean, some people maybe don't know how to do something and you're better than they are at it. But I'm just saying that, uh, you know, I don't ever, I'll never go out there and say, I'm the custom building hot rod, original car shop. We build the best. I don't say that. That's guys of attitudes. You meet guys like that and they immediately just turn me off. We build nice cars that are nice, clean drivers. Some are beyond that. Some are be below that. We build what the customer wants. That's what we do. And uh, we're good at it. We're damn good at it. But to say you're the best at something, uh, honestly, 
that's just ignorant on your half. Because I'll tell you right now, and you can say whatever you want, you ain't the best. But you're good, and that's all that matters. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. It's always a good time at old time, and I'll catch you next time.